screen and the hypotenuse. Now we can take the hypotenuse here to the other side by multiplying both sides by hypotenuse. Remember hypotenuse is R. We can use the principle of substitution. So now we can have, uh, let's see, hypotenuse. Well, let me just put R, right? So R times the sine of theta is equal to the opposite. So we can basically now plug this in. So uh, let me highlight uh, the path this is going to take and make it green. So I have our hypotenuse. Uh, well, all of this is equal to opposite. All right. And I, well, I don't want to highlight inside the blue or I'll make a, well, that works. So opposite is equal to the height of 1, and this is height of 1. So now we can plug it in here. So r times sine theta. So now we have the basic area of our first triangle, or, or as much information as we can get on it for the time being in terms of... Um, using theta as a factor because uh, remember we will be calculating theta as it goes to zero so theta is an important factor to have in here so now we know that this area is well let, let's go to oh, calculate the size of this triangle in the meantime maybe you might want to think about how to find the area of this pi so how can we do this Let's see. Well, we know th this side, right? Um, this side here, we don't know. So we, we really can't use it. I don't think so, anyway. So, But we do have the adjacent side. So adjacent. Right? And adjacent number 2. Okay, so we had adjacent 1 over here, and now we're using adjacent 2 over here all right so this side here is the opposite opposite number two all right because we had an opposite one over here just trying to be specific so what involves adjacent and opposite toa or, or tangent to uh, be specific so let me clear this space so we can now do some calculations. Okay, now that we have that clear, let's take it. So uh, tangent of theta is equal to opposite. This is opposite two we're talking about over adjacent number two. Now adjacent number two we know is equal to what? R in this case, right? So we can replace it with R and we're just going to take this adjacent two which is equal to R and bring it to the other side. So keep in mind adjacent two is equal to R. So write a new statement here uh, r times the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite side which is the height right so we have one half and the base of our triangle here is basically just the adjacent which is equal to r so we can just put r right so just to illustrate where I'm getting these values from let me use a uh, I don't know an orange for now so this well, that's not really orange it's more like a pinkish on my screen anyway off my monitor Jason 2 is equal to the base and now this opposite to let's see purple opposite 2 is equal to this right here so we can now 
substituted, which is equal to the height. So that's what we got was r times the tangent of theta. All right, so we got quite a bit on our screen so far. Uh, what about this? How do we find the area of an arc with trigonometry? Mm -hmm. If you recall, the formula is one half times theta, or well, it doesn't matter, matter. One half times th theta times r r squared. So we have one half times theta r squared. So this is between both of these formulas. So now we have these three um, formulas here that we can, um, I guess, uh, sort of, uh, let's put together the R's here because you can uh, put those together, right? I forgot what the technical term is, but uh, you could do R times R, make it R squared, so now it's cosine theta times sine theta. And this is constant. I'm just going to put these two little um, marks here. That that just means that uh, you bring this down pretty much. And maybe an arrow would suffice better, but it, it's a sort of notation that I usually use. One half r squared tangent theta. All right. So uh, I did this sort of already, and uh, here's a nice little fancy view of everything uh, we've done so far. So we did the one half times base times height. We had the area of the sector OBD, O, B, and D, O, A, D. And uh, you could pause the video and take a look at this and see how uh, specific it is. And if you didn't understand this <laughs> uh, untidy uh, representation you can look at this and hopefully it'll be clearer so you can pause it here and this was just an intermediate step right and then we came to this point one half times r times cosine and right now we're here at one half times r squared cosine theta times sine theta one half times theta times r squared let me see yes this was r squared and remember that this r is equal to this r here the radius right so this is a big r squared, one half times r squared tangent theta. So now we can treat this like normal algebra a bit, right? So let's uh, start trying to eliminate things. Let me put some parentheses around here. So if we can do uh, something to each of these values, right? If I have, for example, um, one is less than two, is less than three, and I multiply all of these values, for example by 2 so I get 2 is less than 4 is less than 6 so as long as I do everything just like uh, how you are with normal algebra where you have um, 1 equals 1 and as long as you do the same thing on both sides plus 1 on both sides 2 right I'll multiply both sides by 36 we, we have the same thing here where uh, and this is basic logic you couldn't get to this calculus class if you weren't capable of doing that of course but uh, yeah, I like to show it to novices just for the hell of it so we can multiply everything by 2 and we're not changing anything well technically we are but it remains the statements remain true that's what it's what's important so we can multiply by 2 to get rid of the one halves inside and we can also multiply by r squared right to get rid of this r squared because well not r squared we have to multiply by um, 1 over r squared so 1 over r squared times r squared would just become 1 and basically everything sort of cancels out so 2 uh, actually let me highlight this right and let me uh, use a red to indicate that I'm crossing this out so 2 cancels out with the 1 halves And this r squared here, let me make that uh, orange. 1 over r squared cancels out with r squared. 
r squared and r squared. So now all that we're left with is and here's